All right, here with DJ Shockley. Just came out of the locker room. <laughs> what was it like in there? Unbelievable. I mean, the amount of excitement, the fact that you did something that has never been done in the CFP history, and all those guys were excited to do it. Kirby was excited. I mean, it was, as you would think, the most joyous locker room you've ever been in. Obviously, the game was out of hand for a long time, but the feeling of you doing it and actually getting it done is pretty cool. Kind of tell me about the tension before the game, and these guys can get you know so intense, so focused versus the joy afterwards. It's, it's totally two different scenes. Yeah, it's a, it's a. You go so high, and then you get here, and you got to focus. But I thought Kirby had one of the more passionate pregame speeches that I ever heard, and it got you fired up. I mean, he talked about all the stuff they did in the offseason, the summer to get them ready and prepared for this ball game. And then he also mentioned what he said back in media days where everybody said, all right, Kirby, now your team is going to be the 100. And I paraphrase because you can't use the words that we use, but he basically said, oh, no, we don't hunt. We, we are the 100, and we go hunt people, and tonight is the last night for hunting season. How does he keep this team on edge like that and keep them with an edge even when it would be easy to relax? Well, I think he puts everything in perspective for him, and he lets them know that at any given day, on any given night, anybody can beat you. So he continues to say humility is always one week away, but he always has something that he can point to, whether it's in the game or, you know, something that they saw in the game that really refocused him. So he did it every single week. I thought he did a masterful job of doing it. All right, DJ Shockley, dogs, back-to-back -back national champs.